Okay, I'm going to do a short clip here for a fellow ham on uh, setting up JT65 and using the Ham Radio Deluxe database. I use the uh, free version of Ham Radio Deluxe, uh, so I don't know if that makes a difference. It probably does uh, if you're setting uh, JT65 HF, uh, and this is the HB9 HQX version 3.2. If you're using this along with Ham Radio Deluxe uh, in the paid version, uh, it, it probably does make a difference uh, in how it's set up between the paid and the free version. So uh, once you've downloaded and installed uh, your Ham Radio Deluxe and uh, you use the uh, uh, HRD logbook, um, we want to connect uh, the JT65 program to your logbook. So when you log QSOs in JT65, it goes straight into uh, Ham Radio Deluxe Logbook. Uh, so you have Ham Radio Deluxe HRD Logbook installed, and then you install JT65 uh, HF, and again, this is uh, HB9 HQX 3.2. Now once you get it installed, it's real simple. Just go ahead and uh, open it up. Uh, I use uh, time synchronization. It's a separate program. Uh, but I believe this one has it included, uh, so you probably don't have to even uh, be concerned about that. Uh, the first place you want to go is uh, configure, and I'm going to pause and open the configuration window. And in the first tab is the station, and I use my call sign, uh, grid square. Uh, this is optional, but I'll go ahead and fill it out anyway. And I'm using the ICOM IC uh, 7300, and it works really well uh, with JT65. Uh, the next is logging, and uh, this is where uh, we set up Ham Radio Deluxe. And I already have Ham Radio Deluxe running. I already have the logbook, uh, HRD logbook open. Um, and I am using the uh, HRD, my uh, logbook, and it's access. You have two choices. You have uh, access and then uh, MySQL or SQL uh, for it. Uh, nothing else uh, uh, is uh, different in here that I can see. Uh, the path to uh, uh, Logger32, uh, the directory uh, WSJT uh, xlog files, I think uh, these were the defaults. Next, uh, internet. Uh, I set up my call sign for the PSK reporter, and I put in my antenna description, uh, my call sign for uh, HRD log, and I have a code, as, which is not my password. And uh, for eSQSL, I use uh, my call sign and password, and uh, the nickname is Home for me, and then I put in a default message. Uh, here is the uh, the uh, simple network time protocol and its settings, and uh, this is what I'm using. So that additional program that I have uh, uh, really doesn't come into play with this. This is uh, updated every 15 minutes. Uh, sound, uh, this is for the uh, uh, USB cable that I have, and this is the uh, uh, driver that we installed from ICOM, and you want to make sure you install that driver before you hook up your USB cable. Uh, so the audio input is the microphone, and the audio output is the uh, speakers. Uh, I don't think I have any alerts set up. Uh, it's uh, a little bit more uh, involved uh, than I normally get. Push to talk uh, is a cat command because I am using uh, Ham Radio Deluxe. Uh, this is all grayed out. The uh, cat, uh, cat is enabled uh, through Ham Radio Deluxe, and it's gives you a little note here before you start Ham Radio Deluxe and uh, TCP connect to the rig. Uh, I don't uh, use any of this. Uh, how many rig? That's not uh, part of it. Colors are the default. Uh, miscellaneous. Uh, I don't think I uh, changed anything there. And then this last tab is uh, for uh, the software agreement and user license agreement. You have to do anything there. Click on Save Settings and Close, and uh, you should be ready to go. So when you uh, go in and have a QSO with uh, one of the stations, uh, it enters the station name here, 
and uh, when you click on log queue so it goes right in ham radio deluxe works really neat I enjoy it and it's simple to use so I hope this uh, short clip helps you out and uh, if you have any questions uh, please uh, submit some comments below and uh, again I hope uh, hope you like it please like and subscribe thanks for watching 73 and good DX